telling them, they ain't telling them what happened when I was with them. Uh-uh, uh-uh, he used to beat me. Uh-uh, I want a part of this. I, I need to be a part of this. A lot is wrong with that because you know how long, hold on, you go from messing with Dr. Dre to messing with Suge Knight? You go from messing with Dr. Dre to messing to with Romello. Okay? <laughs> you go from messing, you go from messing with Dr. Dre to messing with Suge Knight. And then she said, then she said Suge Knight slapped her so hard. Did you see the episode where she said, um, I think in what was one of them Atlanta which McCall is, she said that he slapped her so hard that her face was so disrupted on one side that when she went to the doctor, the doctor asked her what happened and she was taking up a sugar knife. You should have learned from the first beating with Dr. Dre. You want to take up from because you thought he was going to whoop your ass. Because she, she, said, she said that he said if she told anybody that he hit her, that he was going to whoop her ass. He, she said, Suge hit her so hard. So now you got a story to tell about Dr. Dre. I don't like that because you went to from one abusive relationship, then you went with a guy that has. Yes, she said it. She said, Dr. Dr. She said, not Dr. Dre. She said, Suge not. A lot of people want to know her story, so why not make them pay to see it? Don't nobody want to know her story. She put her story out there. She was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I got something to say. And if this going to get me a paycheck, yes, I got some. If you seen one abusive relationship, you seen them all. You know what I'm saying? When I was a teenager, I was in one. I ain't write no book about it. I ain't write no book about it. But I'm saying it's her. She got mad because... They didn't put that in Compton, though. Who wants to put that in Compton? What well, he was supposed to show them that he was whooping her butt? Well, that, that story was not about Michelle A. That story was about... No, I ain't writing no story. Look, her and Dr. Dre been together for... It's been years since they've been together. Started in... in Fresh from her being R&B diva. Yeah, that's the show she was on, R&B diva. I know that's what I'm saying. It does sound suspect. And you know, hey, I can't take a woman, anybody that want to get their coins, be my guest, get it. But a lot of people were saying that they thought because Compton was so big and it made money that now she's trying to get her, you know, her justice off of whatever happened to her. So it's like, come on, that because he didn't put it in the movie, you got mad. That he he didn't show them that he was beating you. Her her part in the movie was so small. You hear me? The part that they had of Michelle in the movie was so small. I mean, it was so minute that you wouldn't even you wouldn't even have thought that anybody wanted to even put anything in there. Help to open a door for her story. Um, no, because she was talking about it right after the movie came out. She when she, when the movie came out, that's when she came out with her story. She talked about it. That's why she mentioned some stuff on R&B Divas. She said, I, you know, I've been, I, you know, I was abused. Okay. She was said, I was abused and he didn't put that in. I don't know why he didn't put that in Compton. So she was upset because it wasn't in there. You know, she thought that she should, that part of his life should have been in there. I mean, I would, me personally, this is just me. This is my opinion. I don't want nobody seeing me get my butt whooped. Now, with Tina Turner's story and Ike, I can see that coming out and you just like, okay, this is how I made it. This is my story. You know, Ike was this way or that way. But then you turn around. Now she got her, her somebody come out with a movie that did awesome. And then you're like, oh, okay, well, you know, Compton came out. So I think I can make a bunch of money off of that. Apparently doesn't pay child support, so I'm here for her. But we don't know that he don't pay child support. We don't know that story, do we, Lauren? We don't know. I don't get into nobody's child support unless I see it with my own eyes, okay? 
I ain't touching that one because I don't know. Just like I wasn't there if he hit her. I don't know. Um, I'm just talking about how sometimes, you know, this is how people make money. Look at Jay. When J-Lo broke up with that dude, um, he wrote a tell-all book about J-Lo. And, you know, um, who else was it? It was a couple of other entertainers. Look, did you see the... <laughs> I don't want that type of Keita J movie, okay? Me getting my lip busted. I don't want that. I don't... Now, if I was Tina Turner, she had every right to put Ike Turner out there like that because that wasn't that wasn't like a revenge movie. This one seems like it's more revenge. You know, she's trying to get revenge and she's trying to get her coins up at the same time. So, um, I'm just like, who cares? Like, really... That story is done and over with. You know, y'all haven't been together in so long. <laughs> well, that probably wouldn't be my story, Lois. That might be somebody else's story. You know, you know, Kiki, she was hula hooping. She was hula hooping. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, that's just how I feel. Everybody else has the right to feel that they the way that they feel. But when I saw this, I was like, wow, are you serious? Like, she was really upset the fact that they didn't have anything about his abuse to her in Compton. Oh, Dre didn't tell y'all what he did to me. Dre, Dre didn't tell you he power punched me a couple of times. My boy was ordered to pay child support six months later. His kids moved in with him three years later. What? But you know what? Child support is a different, is a different um, animal because I know some stories about child support what about the new edition oh yeah new edition that's my that's my group right there that's a different type of biopic though it seems like now they're doing biopics on lifetime for everything so you know and i haven't even seen the tony braxton one i saw the Aaliyah one and it was awful i saw it, it was awful so i can just almost imagine how this one is gonna be a lot of people said the tony braxton one wasn't all that either so Lifetime is trying to cram all this stuff into how many hours? One hour? You cramming all this. So Dr. Dre probably going to be hitting her a couple of times. Dr. Dre probably, look, for a whole hour, Dr. Dre probably going to hit her about 100 times. Get in there. Get in there and sing. Get, get, what I tell you? Get in there. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, Dr. Dre. Okay, I'm getting in there right now. Uh, you say you love me. You never get get that note right. Get that note right. Get that note. Get high, more high pitch. More high pitch. You say you love me. I think that is true. So the whole hour, she must gonna be yelled, getting yelled at, and banged up at the same time. Okay. 